Uh, even without having attended debates from uh, reliable media networks, Ferdinand Marcos Jr. still managed to launch a successful campaign that will more or less propel him to the presidency. Now, compared to his 2016 vice presidential bid, Marcos Jr. had a strong message, all anchored on the easily digestible promise of unity. Julie Baiza is back to give us a front seat to that campaign, which she has followed for three months. Since the start of the campaign period, the Marcos campaign stuck to just one message with single-minded discipline, that of unity. Sa ating mga kababayan, kung ano at bakit ang uh, adikain na pagkakaisa at bakit kailangan niya para sa ating pagbalik sa mas magandang buhay. Despite all the controversies hounding his campaign, Marcos stuck to this team, and the controversies were many. From the disqualification case to his refusal to face controversial questions about his family's wealth to skipping most of the debates. Instead, Marcos chose to let his social media influencers carry the fight for him via Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, and vlogs. Ano po ba para sa inyo yung bias? Because as we all know, Ms. Jessica Soho is a well-respected personality uh, sa mm. media. So, Ano po ba yung bias para sa inyo? Anti Marcos. And the most recent controversy, the 203 billion unpaid estate tax of the Marcos family. But the most controversial candidates slip past these issues like the flaw, rocking up numbers never seen before in Philippine electoral campaigns. Since December 2021, Marcos had taken a commanding lead that broke the 50% barrier, at times hitting even 60% in a field of 10 presidential candidates. Clearly, the issues against Marcos were not sticking. This much was also clear in the campaign sorties. And with the voters come the candidates. Marcos snagged the endorsement of local officials from Tarlac, Bailiwick of the Aquinos, and Votrich Cebu. Pamayaan na natin yung mga bumapatikos. It's time for forgiveness and healing. Mag-unite tayo. In the March survey of Pulse Asia, Lenny Robredo's numbers are seeing some improvements with a very slight dip in Marcos's numbers. But in the end, the most important survey, the one that happened on election day, proved survey numbers to be true. Julie Baiza, we are One News.